my uh, chosen medium is print making i uh, like to use uh, different media normally i explore one media uh, for say one or two years like for instance i i worked in lithography in where well, i was in kanuri art center for two years then uh, i explored uh, etching on linoleum for more than two years so this is how i like to um, use one process for some time so that i understand the process completely and my image gets molded into that process in print making i feel that like uh, if there's a story and you are making a film on that story you have to adapt your story according to the screen uh, and the movie making same goes for print making you have an image in mind and then you decide what media you are going to use for that particular image or series of work or thought or idea that you want to express and uh, then you select it can go two ways there are times when i am using a one specific uh, process and technique and then the image sort of follows because i understand that one gets certain kind of uh, result in that technique and uh, so some, many a times it is the the technique the kind of uh, effect it gives the line quality the texture the various things then i use those things and create image or composition out of it or there is other way around i have a idea and then there is a technique which sort of uh, i feel goes well and then i explore it for one or two years i like to say that my work is planned in some ways but when i actually start plate making or um many other uh, processes it, it is spontaneous for instance when i was making etching series the the main theme is there in my mind uh, like if i was working on a pattern then it is there in the mind that i am working with pattern but when i start when i make mark on the plate that time there is no specific composition or idea in mind there are times i have used used plate also and i have such sort of worked reverse by removing areas that i don't find interesting or adding on existing plate which i really find very fascinating and interesting i use print making mainly for that reason because there are lots of back and forth there are lots of uh, unexpected result of course there are times when you are not happy with those result and you rework on it but in general there is lot of back and forth and uh, there is always a possibility to improve and go back and go forward is what i like about print making that a specific medium enhances the meaning of the work uh, which which is very true because uh, every medium has something uh, to add to your image the kind of uh, intensity of line that you gets in etching depending on the kind of a drawing that one does uh, that will uh, surely enhance the image uh, for the theme i have been using a various theme at various point what triggers is how i feel Uh, intensely about that issue that topic that book that i read that is what is happens in the world around me in my home or whatever uh, immediate surrounding sometimes but uh, the last time i i i have also used lot of uh, game uh, in my work like i have made a series on playing cards on the other game called snakes and ladders and the last one i used was the chess uh so i have you can see here i have used um cyanotype in this i this theme i have been used in cyanotype you can see the same image used in a different composition i like to use uh i like to pick images and and compose them differently every time i get an idea of composition rather than making a addition of the same composition i use this uh, uh, images in a different composition and that is what i find very exciting
it has definitely evolved from if i if i look back or say um, when i started in um, <clears throat> 1995, 1985 in fact, uh, the way I treated, in fact, I remember those days we were very much into figuration and uh, there was a narrative element in my paintings or in printmaking that I started in 83. Um, but as we moved on, I my area of interest was more like became a larger in uh, I was focusing on the larger issues like I was not thinking about issues in life how human behavior changes how people change how there is a pattern in everything in in life in um, a, in situation in thinking so uh, with the shift in the thinking process there is a shift in visual language as well also have seen so much of art, I have visited so many places and seeing how other artists are working, how uh, the situations are changing world over, everything has impact on the uh, image building, image making and uh, visual uh, language. Of I think it is inevitable, every artist would be changing as the time would change. About pandemic, how it affected me is, uh, fortunately my studio is uh, just two blocks away from where I stay. So I could still go to my studio in lockdown situation. Uh, this is a very unusual thing that is happening and has happened and has sort of continued for longer than we anticipated. Um, I did uh, some work initially, uh, first month, uh, I had enough material to use, but after that I ran out of material and I could not continue printing. But I used the most of the time um, reading because I have collected lots of uh, catalogs. I went to China, Print Biennale, where I curated a show and they had given um, uh, many portfolio, many catalogs about uh, paper presentation, different shows. And it has been lying with me and this was a good time when I could see each of the um, uh, catalogues. I, I could read the papers that people have presented on printmaking. So it was uh, uh, useful in, a, in the sense that things which I was putting off for a later time, I could finish those work. And uh, as far as the, um, how it will affect uh, art field and my work uh, it is one has to wait and watch uh, you can all one can already see how a lot of webinars happening a lot of talks are happening on facebook on instagram artists are talking about their work and um, it is also in a way a good experience because uh, many a times living in baroda you are not connected with uh, artist talks that is happening in Delhi or Bombay or uh, you know their work but uh, it is good to know their ideas, their process, how they develop their images, their work, ideas. So uh, I could uh, listen to many of the talks organized by various forums uh, and in future I am sure the digital world is going to have a major impact uh, on or in the art world because uh, that is easily uh, transferable, one can reach out very quickly through various mediums, uh, social media and uh, I think it is more uh, uh, possibility of reaching out people uh, and larger masses uh, than taking a one show from one city to another city especially prints which are framed uh, with the glass. So all those issues I think uh, digital art will not have and it will have its own uh, uh, pros and cons like everything else has. So we'll have to wait and watch what happens next.